Welcome back to our Transfer Talks podcast. My name is Lele and I am a Transfer Jacks peer mentor. We have a very special guest with, here with us today who's really interested to share their transfer ex experience with us. Uh, yeah, so I'm Griffin, uh, Griffin Ritchie. I'm a bio major. I came from ASU and I'm, I'm dual majored with uh, bioeducation as well. So. Nice. Okay, great. So how about we start with some this or that just to kind of like smooth into it. How sure. do you feel about that? That sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, so sun or snow? Uh, I like the snow actually. You've this been year, enjoying it. This year has been brutal because it's like it's sleet, so it's worse. Mm -hmm. Like I, I, I don't know. I wear Crocs a lot, and then like <laughs> my socks get wet, so that's kind of brutal. He but. said, even with the snow, I'm still wearing my Crocs. Oh, you, you gotta commit. It's a <laughs> oh my god! It's a statement. Oh my gosh! Well, I'm surprised. Even with the snow, you would still prefer some snow over the sun. No, yeah. I mean, like a. Being in education, it's been rough this year because obviously we work with schools and they've had, at mm -hmm. Flag High, they've had 12 snow days this year. And so that's been like... Aren't they at their semester. max right now? Yeah, they yeah. are. They're, they're already talking about makeup days and stuff. So it's been really rough with that. But uh, other than that, no, I, I think it's really pretty from, from in my apartment. So See, it is pretty. Yeah, from looking on the inside and yeah, then when exactly. you're there, it's like, okay, I'm going to go back inside. And as a desert rat like myself, I'm from Yuma, Arizona. I don't mm -hmm. know if you know where that is. No, I do. I'm straight I'm up Buckeye. desert. Oh, you know okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, no, exactly. Straight up desert, and I've never missed the desert more than ever. I really go in waves, though, because it'll, by summer, I'll be like, oh, man. Yeah, I'm see, because it's like, it. we yeah. go the extreme. I don't know if it gets to like 120 over there, too, for you guys. No, it does. Yeah, oh, my absolutely. God. Yeah, like, uh, it's already hit 100 once in Buckeye this year, which is, it's, that's pretty gross. But like here, I like it because it's, say, 70, 80, and it's, I don't, it's gorgeous up here no matter it what really it really is i mean it's hard when the snow's covering it but even with the snow it's still pretty yeah i, I get know. what you mean and i mean that's part of the reason why i came here Me because too. it's like i need to change the scenery like now but it's crazy too with such a dramatic weather change like phoenix or so is like two and a half hours away yeah totally different weather compared <laughs> it's, like, to now. it's like you hit a certain mile on the drive and then suddenly everything's different yeah, no, yeah it's, it's kind of crazy <laughs> Okay, so the next one, morning classes or afternoon slash evening classes? I get stuck with a lot of mornings. Uh, last year, <laughs> last year my schedule was brutal. Uh, I had like a couple of 8 a.m. labs and stuff, but I, I prefer afternoon. It just never shakes out that way. So. I, I felt that. And it, it's like you kind of want to get it over with, but do you feel like you're a more, more of a morning person? No. Yeah, see, Not it's like we want to be, but it just doesn't happen. You're no, night I definitely, owl. I definitely you're... aspire to it, but mm -hmm. yeah, I'll be up at like 3 and I'll, oh five hours to class it's, it's like, so hard counting it no right for then, real for then real. You're like well that's like four hours of sleep max like that's better than yesterday right no <laughs> we're setting records <laughs> hey day by day right day by that's day. literally went to bed i mean it's it's kind of cute right now but i went to bed by 1 30. i mean that's like nothing when you think about it as night owls like you ourselves no, but like i'm trying to limit that's myself but like, did I get as much done? No. I mean, if I stayed up till three, yes, I would have. But would I have gotten enough sleep? No. So it's like, a, it depends on what you feel, I guess. I was but... good about it for a week and then <laughs> spring break happened. So I was, it was 12 every day and I was like, oh, we're finally some progress. Finally, Didn't you feel person. good about it too? I felt amazing. And then, yeah, spring break happened. I was like, oh. Was it just spring break or was it those snow days too? Those, yeah, those were, because the start of the year, I definitely had the aspiration. And then, you know, first week lost. And so, like, I never got set up. And then finally, once I did, they're like, oh, you know, take a week off, take a hike. So <laughs> this is when we say, you know what? Next year. Next year, <laughs> I'm coming after you. <laughs> graduate before it <laughs> New milestones, right? Okay, so um, NAU gold or NAU blue? I like the blue. <sighs> I am a yellow person, so mm -hmm. I'm going gold. Why do you like blue? Uh, I like wearing blue more. Really, so, as yeah, like, like you're not wearing like blue right clothes. now. <laughs> uh, no, when I when I wear like gold or yellow, I have a bunch of like I don't know. I, I buy every color for myself, and I'm still like oh, I'm wearing black or blue, so it's or gray, mm -hmm. like you know. But yeah, it's uh, I don't know. That's it's just what I gravitate towards, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Would you like? Is there anything? Let me like turn off the ring on my phone. You but know. is there any colors that you don't usually wear that you're kind of noticing that you wear in these days? If you know what I mean, that's kind of like a complex Definitely, like, question. Like green or brown. I feel like moving up here, I've like gained a lot of appreciation for like earth tones. I guess. Yeah, same here. There's something about like a maturity into that. Yeah. I, I'm definitely feeling the brown on that. 
there's like and like you know there's certain shades that we like too we're not like the basic kind but like no, the exactly. ones that kind yeah. of go off of i it. never would have known as many types of browns if i didn't live up here but i feel like <laughs> it's different too because like the people when i went to asu like because i mean after i graduated right at the start of uh covid uh-huh so like i kind of had to rebuild my fashion sense from just like being a slug all day <laughs> so um I don't, but at ASU, I was like, I didn't feel the inspiration. And then people here, I feel like they have better fashion, I guess. I don't know. Ooh. The NAU diff is real. That's one point for NAU. <laughs> yes. And I'm noticing that too. I'm also trying to up it, but it's also like, it's kind of hard to keep up sometimes. And Definitely. then you want to do that's for you, not because everyone else exactly. is wearing it, you know? And do you feel like you finally found like your, I mean, you're. I, yeah, I go yeah. in and out. Like it's, and you're going to, you're going to raise an eyebrow because I said I like the snow, but in the summer, I'm so much better dressed. Like, <laughs> you just, you've mastered the summer clothes, exactly. well, the summer fits, I'm living right? in the valley, like, you don't have a choice. It's summer all year. So. You, we don't wear pants all the time. We don't wear sweaters. You, we're figuring stuff out. These layers are pretty new for us. So that is very there's some true. people that literally have it so figured out and I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. I know a ton of people from Alaska. Mm. I'm so like, yeah, you already had like, you had an advantage. <laughs> Did you get but, some inspiration from them? Like, tell me your way. Well, I had to ask even, like, what types of coats are real? Because you can buy, like, a hype jacket, and it doesn't actually help with the cold or anything. You want an affordable one as well, or, yeah, like, something exactly. worth, the, like, the price, you know? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I'm glad you got some inspiration off of that. Who, who would have known? Alaska, right? <laughs> the pipeline is crazy. I know so many people from Alaska. That really? That go here? here? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, it's my so God. bizarre. Like, through work or, or just classes. Like, nice. I talk to people. Where are you from? Alaska. You, like can't like everyone that's what i love about these campuses is that people are from everywhere yeah definitely moving on to the more um light-hearted questions so what do you like about campus slash the neu environment uh like i kind of already talked about i just like the 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 vibes here are better to be honest i was a when i went to asu i was a business major and that was very like you know, people were hustling, I guess, is the, the colloquial it's the, word. The program's really big over there. Yeah, so. no, it's huge. It's massive. And that's why I went there. I was like, because I didn't really know what I wanted to do at mm -hmm. that point. And I didn't, like now, obviously, I'm in science. I'm in education. So I'm, I feel a bit more passionate about what I'm doing. But there, I was kind of doing it for the money, mm -hmm. uh, which would be something I don't advise. Mm -hmm. but, because it's hard to care, especially during, because everything was online, too. I and feel like one, we start there. You know, we start naive. Definitely. We, you know, no, we definitely. go for the paycheck. I mean, when I chose physical therapy as my career, I know what the salary is. <laughs> I know. I, I, know like, I know. I know what it is. I, I've I've changed major twice though, because I was I was business accounting. Uh -huh. And then I came here and I started like I transferred as a business student. And then I did my first meeting and I was like, Oh, I'm actually I would like to do biomed. Oh, that's and like so a now, huge shift. Yeah, it was massive. So like that's why I'm like a semester behind it. I figured out how to pick it up. But mm -hmm, yeah. the scholarships for education are really good because obviously the paycheck's bad, so you gotta you gotta balance it out somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh but yeah, definitely um I like I like the it's a lot less the pacing is nice. Like I feel like I can have like conversations with people that aren't so career oriented and people aren't like, oh well you're a freshman, but in your first week, you need three internships and like mm -hmm. all this and that. Like, it's definitely still there. People are like helping you advance yourself, but it's like, it felt a lot more competitive and kind of a way that was detrimental to like, yeah, the, the way I could enjoy it. Cause I still wanted to enjoy the experience. Like, yeah, obviously I'm here to get an education and get somewhere, but mm -hmm. it's really tough when people are like, it's just, it's easy because people are kind of emphatic about how ahead they are. There's a difference between being competitive and wanting to be better than you um like compared to like being competitive and wanting no, to yeah, make you like better, a healthy you know? rivalry yeah. is great yeah like I, there's a ton of classes where we're talking about exam scores and stuff because that's kind of like how i am but i don't i would never be like oh you know you might as well drop out like, <laughs> they would say it. that oh no my. it was brutal and i don't know if that was Ooh. i was just talking to the cutthroat people or what, but, <laughs> i wonder no, if that's just the norm over there you know but know. i'm not gonna I, say it i've never been so you know it's i think that might just be like the way because i asu is massive right and i it's not small but it's definitely like proportionally <laughs> yeah it's you know kind of drop in the bucket so it's yeah yeah it's just been nice that i feel like i can just like pace my life how i want to here as opposed to like being feeling so driven to like not enjoy the early adulthood experience you know what i mean yeah. i think i would have lost those years if i'd stayed it should have been it should be fun you know yeah, it should you know we have to enjoy the process and you know like you said there's like a healthy um kind of like productiveness or you know where people are being competitive but like they shouldn't have to tear you down and no, you shouldn't absolutely. feel that way in your major 
No, if totally you know what agree, I mean. Yeah. yeah. So I'm glad, like you feel pretty good. Um, it's been, did you transfer? When did you transfer? I was, uh, I came in as a sophomore. As a sophomore? So, yeah, after my first year. It was, plus, uh, I'll be honest, um, freshman year when it was all online was rough. I don't really feel like I learned anything. And so, you know, they already have the climate of like, oh, you're, you know, you're starting behind. Mm -hmm. And then to feel like I didn't learn anything, I didn't gain anything from my first two semesters, I was like, oh. They really put the I, guilt on you. Yeah, and you're no, just exactly. like, yeah, like I had control with COVID, you I know, like, like we like, all I, did. I think any use for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that we like help you feel better no. about that. Plus, I'm so I, sorry. <laughs> no, I was just, I was also kind of like done with the valley. You know what I mean? Like, it I is just, city life too. So this is all, I, again, like what you along with like a whole bunch of other transfer students that I've like interviewed, they consistently say, the vibes like i feel like it's the just the best no, way to just essentialize exudes, yeah it's so unique it's a very unique place and i like i i've been here a couple times before i i lived here and it was it, i mean you know i i just like i said i gravitated towards it so it's <laughs> it's been it's been lovely <laughs> it's been yeah. nice. and i could relate the same way i mean where i come from i'm like did i just grow up with with like we mean people you know like people are over here saying hi to me and i don't even know them i'm like me? I know, I'll, you I'll, know, do, I'll have one lab with somebody and then I'll see them on campus and they're like rushing over like, Griffin, what's up? I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> You're just like, wait, is it just me? That's, yeah, everybody's friendly. Yeah, uh, yeah. And you know what? I'm really glad that you're having like a positive experience so far compared to like former experiences yeah, and everything. We love that. Right. We love that. Okay, so moving on to the next one. So um, since you transferred here, what is your favorite memory so far being at NAU? Um, I would say, cause I, my first semester I was, that was the fall of probably 21 mm -hmm. and I was, uh, I was biomed, so that was really tough. But then the next semester I switched to bio and then also the education cause they were, they did when I was in freshman classes again, cause I transferred into like an entirely new field. Yeah. Uh, they advertised the education program and talked about it a lot in the benefits. And so I, I switched into that and then also, um, I, uh, like I said, I switched just to bio instead of biomed. So that was, uh, really cool. And then at the end of that year, obviously when you're teaching, you, you know, you do lessons and stuff and that's really stressful. And then also just like the end of finals week, everything had kind of come to a conclusion. All the stress was gone. And I just like sat out on the North quad with my girlfriend and had a bagel. And I just like laid back and like looked at the breeze go through the leaves. And Why does like, that sound so peaceful? It's so memorable. Because it, it really was like, I was like, I'm in the right place. You know what I mean? It felt great. It was, it was a little spiritual. It was awesome. You already, once you said bagel, that was like, that was it for uh, yeah, me. I was like, I could, wow. Uh, you know, I love a good bagel. <laughs> You make me think of a time that it was literally like after class with my um my friend and we got Einstein's and we we're just sitting on the grass and we we're just like, this is nice. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> this like is I good. said, like I don't I mean I didn't have that at ASU and I'm sure there are people that do, but like just enjoying the outdoors here and like being in Flagstaff, being able to like you know, the North Quad is like it's crazy the the biodiversity there, like everything it's just I love flag stuff. <laughs> gush about it all day. Yeah, yeah. No, and we love that. We absolutely love that for you. So, moving on to a more serious one. Are you ready for this? I'm, I think so. I don't have tissues with... Oh, my God. Look, it's right there. Okay, so we'll definitely reach for it my, if we need my it, My right? resilience is going to be tested. <laughs> Make that both of us. I'm an extremely emotional <laughs> person, so let's see how this goes. So, um... Uh, what was your experience like at your previous school? So we did actually talk about that a bit. Um, so yeah, we actually already talked about this, like your experience and then just like how you transferred. So I guess, and you already compared to like how they're different, right? Unless you mm -hmm. want to kind of like go over that one more time. I don't, I don't honestly, I feel like I've slandered. Yeah. I was like, dude, you went ahead <laughs> no, of me. How could you? <laughs> okay. We're going to go to the next one. Okay. There we go. So what types of programs, departments, people have helped you throughout your transition? There we go. Okay. Uh, well, definitely I've had a, like a sequence of great advisors. So even when I was just uh, like an accounting major coming right in, like the advisor I spoke with was very helpful. And it was just a Zoom call when I was still in the Valley before I moved up here. Mm -hmm. But I was just like impressed with how helpful she was because I had the advisor I had at ASU was like the president of the department as well, just by, you know, by chance. Mm -hmm. Um and that was, uh, I was surprised by how little I got, like, communication-wise. Yeah. So, definitely advisors have been a huge boon here. And then... Uh, you've had your taste of different advisors because you've switched definitely. your major several times, you know? Yes. Yeah. So, when you switch to education, there's, like, pretty much one 
person that you're going to get. And, and even she has changed now. It's a, it's Shepard. Shout out Shepard. He's really cool. <laughs> mm. uh, and I feel like I bother him cause I'm always emailing him. Like, am I doing, <laughs> like, am I doing the right thing? Cause I don't want to graduate late. You know, like mm-hmm. I love the place, but I would like to be in grad school. At That's least. their job to help you out. No, exactly. You know? No, I, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't put that pressure on myself. Like, mm-hmm. Oh man, I'm making him earn his wage. <laughs> <laughs> Darn it. Right. <laughs> no, but that was, I mean, that was huge. And then, uh, like I said, and I, I'm sure I've been, you know, pretty redundant on that as well. But switching to education, it's like if if I'm going to say if you have a passing interest in it, because I'm dual majored, like because I still want if I, I still want the opportunity, like if I say I want to go to med school or something, because mm-hmm. obviously that was uh, the original plan. Are you perhaps thinking of teaching? Yeah, no, of course. Yeah. Uh, so the way it works, there's this scholarship that will pay for everything that doesn't get paid for by other scholarships that isn't like books or housing. Oh, nice. uh, so it's the Arizona Teachers Association. And they pay, and I'm not going to, I'm going to sound like an ad. Cause it's it's a, honestly a really good opportunity. <laughs> Call as, them at this number, at this as, email. <laughs> uh, as long as you're in an education uh, program, you can, it, it's, like I said, it's a great opportunity. And so I did that because I, trans- at ASU, I had a great scholarship. And then mm-hmm. here, just a transfer jack was not going to cut it. And I didn't really, like, it's a hassle to apply for them. So I was like, if they'll come to me, like, I'm in. So, <laughs> Say less, So I did right? that, yeah, exactly. And I, you know, I kept, I kept the bio degree, still doing that. So that's why I have to. You know, it's like 20 credit semesters for me right now. So that's kind of tough. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, so being in that education program, like if you're, I would say if you're in chem or you're in like any science, try that because it's the way the structure, the difference in structure. Like I feel like I didn't talk to anybody in my classes outside of like doing work or doing group work or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's really like tight knit. And I'm, I've heard about that like at every level of it. Obviously, I'm in like the junior, senior level of it now. But yeah, it's, it's, the people and the professors are just awesome. Like I haven't had one that I've, that I've had disdain for and they're really helpful. And they kind of just encourage you to better yourself in all forms of learning. Like I'm really into the, I guess the psychology of learning the, like the neuroscience the behavior so, yeah, and choices. And- exactly. And I think that's why like I care about education and I care about encouraging people to learn. And it's great to have professors and just peers and friends that like, want to work of, with kind you. Of concur with me. Yeah. Cause like if you're doing education, you care about stuff like that, obviously, especially yeah. in Arizona. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, definitely. But like, even in there, cause the ATA applies to anybody like out of the state too. So I, again, people from Alaska oh, or wow. or anywhere. So yeah, it's now it's, it's great to see people that are that passionate that come from another state to learn here because they've heard our programs great or whatever. It's so great it's, to see it be act upon, you know, instead yeah. of just talking about it. Cause that's one thing. Yeah, no, that's, that is another difference with a lot of education programs is, like we get in immediately to the field and they're like, you have a good support system. So you're not going to be like, Oh, you know, I'm screwed going into this. Uh, no, the, everybody's very, you know, encouraging and says like, listen, this is going to be tense because in other places you wouldn't be in the field. You would student teach your last semester and then you're in your career and either you make it or you don't, it's sink or swim. But here I, you get eased into it. And that's pretty characteristic of the program. So that's been just the people involved with that have been uh, sure. amazing. So a lot of people you're thankful to, it sounds like. (laughs) (laughs) We love that. Spread, spread the love, spread the love. Absolutely. Would you say that's at most the people that definitely contributed to like, um, your transitioning and you just feeling comfortable overall on campus for sure. Yeah. The first semester as a biomed, uh, like I said, tough, didn't really talk to anybody. Didn't connect. I had, uh, there was a chem professor, uh, Dr. Matthew and he, he mandated that you go to like one office hour. Mm Mm-hmm. And I really liked that. And that was like, that's the only guy I can like really point out and say, like I had a strong connection with him oh. and it was just from that one hour. So I don't, I feel like I just connect to people like the more I get a chance to interact with them one-on-one. Like it's so hard in a class, even, you know, you, yeah. you ask a question, obviously they're, you know, prof- professors aren't just there to orate information. Like they, yeah. You know, they have personality. They want to engage with you. Through. Exactly. So I, I feel like it's, that was very helpful in like kind of showing me what, what the nature of the classes I wanted to be in was. Do you feel like it was helpful because you transferred from ASU? Mm-hmm. So obviously the class sizes were probably dramatically different. Yeah. I'm thinking. So did you like that kind of intimacy? So like Definitely. smaller groups Definitely. for yeah. sure. I, I, yeah, it was, I mean, more obviously high school to, to college is crazy. Mm-hmm. Just going from like 15 to 230. And my school is tiny in high school as well. So it's like, I, don't, I feel like I've had a chance to like ease into it with having the smaller education classes versus like the massive, you know, you've got to taste the both sides and now you know your preference exactly and like yeah. your what is it your preferred like learning environment in That's a not, sense yeah. right yeah and so that like honestly another another thing that i kind of gleaned from that is 
that if I sit up front, like I, I don't give myself any excuses. You know what I mean? So I like, I love sitting up front. I love when the professor would know my face and if I go talk to them, they're like, oh yeah, I know exactly who you are. You know what I mean? See, so and that's, that's important too, is that like, you have to actually be willing to engage. Cause I mean, if like maybe people aren't willing to, cause they're, they're shy, that's fine. You know, you have to no, build yeah, your definitely. way up to it, but in order to like seek help, sometimes you have to make the first step. And yeah. was that always difficult for you? Or was that easier for that, you? For Natural. me, it was pretty easy. I had a lot of, I had a lot of experience with that in high school. Just like, cause I was absent a ton. Um, just, I <laughs> high school days. Yeah, I was just like, okay, I'll skip this week. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Uh, but just knowing that, that those teachers were accommodating, there was no reason for me to assume that, like, and obviously they kind of impressed when you, like, college is going to be, you know, you're going to die. Like, <laughs> Literally, just trying uh, to scare us. There's, yeah, there's so much <laughs> emphasis on the difficulty. And it, I really have never felt that. Like, obviously, the course material, you know, your, your brain's developing, you can learn more, and so they're expecting you to. But, mm -hmm. uh, no, it's, I have, I've been intimidated about approaching professors, but not through their fault, just from being, like, off they but the worst they can say is no. You know what I mean? If exactly. Like, I need an extension or do you offer extra credit? Like You really don't like that. know unless you try. And it's so scary at first because they're like doctors. Most yeah. of them are. <laughs> and you're over here like, hello. <laughs> you know. But like some of them are really down to earth, especially, yeah, exactly. you know, from my experience, especially here on campus. So, yeah, you just have to give it a try. And yeah, worst case scenario. No. And then you just say. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna I'm go eat something. They I'm gonna go. You know. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably not gonna remember you, so it's fine. But so great to to finish us off. Um, what piece of advice would you give to incoming transfer students? If I had to just pick one, mm -hmm. uh, I would say like as a transfer, you're gonna feel pretty isolated no matter what. Like I had a couple friends from obviously being from the valley that were here. Uh, my girlfriend was here. But I would say that it's important to just find, like, whether it's in the curriculum or, you know, you join a club or whatever, just find a group where you, like, are at ease, I guess. For me, obviously, that was the education program, and that's still work, and that's still mm -hmm. studying. But it's just finding that, like, you just need to find people that you can connect with, because that's, like, uh, having a good support system. Is you want to build your sense of belonging, right? Yeah, definitely. That's, like, that is you know first and foremost mm -hmm. I would say. and if not through your program you know there's also like clubs there's yeah, a lot exactly. of things to like engage with people and meet new people don't ignore the emails <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to say hey join this club and it's like maybe one day you know that's it changes your life path it definitely did for me so yeah, it's you know it's that's very uh that's something i would be very emphatic about is just paying attention to like the opportunities around you because there's a ton here and you may feel like oh, it's a smaller campus, so it's not going to have as many resources. But we're definitely not struggling. I don't think I don't think <laughs> any is hurting for it. They just need people to engage. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you just have to be like, um, what is that? Brave. Just kind of like yeah. try and get out of your comfort zone. And again, if you fail, you fail. Then you try again. Now you know how it is to fall, and you just get back up. Kind of. That's even why I signed up for this. Like two years ago, I'd have been like, no. But <laughs> I saw the email. I was like, why not? We've <laughs> all we've all been there. We've literally all been there. So that's like really nice for us to relate on a certain level and just be like, well, I now do this and I tried that kind of thing. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Would you like to add anything else before we wrap it up? I'm okay. I'm <laughs> I think I said my piece. You definitely said a lot. Like, I love talking. You said the whole script. I was like, okay, um, what didn't we talk about? Maybe I studied too well. <laughs> No, you did great. You did absolutely great. So thank you, Griffin, for joining us today. We really appreciate you for coming in and sharing your experience with us. Um, so yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me.